anyone who fishes at night knows the effectiveness of nighttime patterns and wet flies, the George Harvey Pusher Nightfly is touted as one of the best night fly patterns you can use and is accounted for some of the biggest trout ever caught. If you don't have it in your box and you're fishing at night, you're fishing for big fish, you're missing out. Here's how you tie it. Start out by pinching the barb on a strong streamer hook of your choice, firmly embedding it into your vise. Dark patterns are more effective at giving a good silhouette at night and enhancing the fly's design. Get a base of thread started on the hook and bring it all the way back to the bend where we're going to tie in some black poly bear. Poly bear offers movement and flash while also offering some moisture wicking abilities, allowing for a little bit more disturbance under the water. I'm going to trim a small clump of poly bear from the hank, pull out any long fibers and stack them on the clump to further reinforce the bulk of the tail portion of this fly. We can also use this poly bear to bulk up the body a little bit. So trim the length to ensure that the poly bear extends up to about the front of the fly, about an eighth inch back from the hook eye after we tie in this tail. And we'll make the tail about the, the length of the hook shank. Once we get that captured on the back with a pinch wrap, go ahead and bring your thread all the way up to the front, capturing down that poly bear uh, on the hook shank to create an underbody for this fly. Trim off any excess materials at the front and use thread wraps to cover up that material going back rearward again to the original tie-in point. There we're going to tie in our hackle fibers which is just a grizzly or a black hackle. Lick your fingers and preen back the individual fibers of this long bugger feather before tying in the tip the remaining tag end of this long bugger feather will be hanging rearward off the hook shank. We'll leave that there for now. After attaching the hackle feather, we're going to dub a body of Firestar dubbing. Any dark color will work, but I love the shimmer and shine of a gunmetal Firestar that's going to be the underbody of this fly. Spin a robust dubbing noodle of gunmetal Firestar onto your thread and begin wrapping your dubbing up the hook shank, I'm doing mine in several sections because I don't have as much space to tie with these night pushers or any other bugger style fly that I tie. I always include more dubbing than I think is necessary because I'm going to end up brushing it out at the end. Once you get your dubbing noodle all the way to the front side of the hook, we're going to bring our hackle feather forward. This process is simply one of patience, slowly wrapping that hackle feather around the hook shank while at the same time preening those individual fibers back with your off hand. With each successive wrap, we're stroking these feather fibers rearward to ensure that they lay back on the fly and create a streamlined look for this pattern. Make spiral wraps with your hackle feather all the way to the front side of the fly where I'll add a few additional wraps of hackle just to bolster that front section and help splay out my pusher feathers at the end. For the final step, we're going to attach our pusher feathers to the front side of the fly. I'm using Hungarian partridge, but you can use any feathers that will splay out and offer a wide oar-like shape at the front side of your fly. Hen hackle feathers, pheasant feathers, try whatever you have at your disposal and find out what you like best for color combination and functionality. Strip the fluffy fibers from the butt section of your partridge feathers, leaving the stem available to tie in on the bottom side. I'm going to attach these feathers one at a time individually on the side of the hook shank. We want the concave side of the fly or the scoop side of the fly facing outward. That's going to be our pusher section for this fly. Simply hold the feather on the side of the hook shank with a pinch and attach the stem up behind the eye of the hook. Make several wraps to hold this stem in place before checking the feather's placement. Once the feather is secured, simply helicopter the remaining stem portion like you would a piece of wire to have it break right at the thread wraps. 
bring in another feather on the opposite side of the hook, tie it in the same exact way, capturing that stem, the concave side of the feather facing forward, wrap the stem down and then helicopter any excess that might exist hanging from the front. Clean up your head with some additional thread wraps, add some half hitches or a whip finish, and then you can finalize your pusher night fly with some UV resin. Some of my fondest memories in fishing for all species come in the nighttime, especially for trout. They're super aggressive and they're very good hunters in the evening. Fishing at night seems easy when you do it, creating a disturbance within the water, allowing for the fish to easily find your presentation and attack it. Harvey's ingenious design, putting splayed wings on the side of his pattern to push water as it moves throughout the column, attributes to its effectiveness. Tie up some pusher night flies and give them a go on your home waters. Here are all the larval lace products you'd need to tie a pusher night fly from George Harvey. Go down to your local fly shop and ask for larval lace by name. If they don't have it, tell them they can go to hagensfish.com or call Lori at the shop in Mitchell, South Dakota to get squared away with the best synthetic fly tying materials on the market. Comment, like, subscribe to our videos, share this with your networks. We appreciate you for tying with Larva Lace. Thanks for being a part of our community. Here's to tight lines and well-tied flies.